Now with all the medical advances, nanotechnologies, and all sorts of stuff, we might be living well into our 100s, 120s. So, oh, you know, we, we want yes. to be physically able to, to do stuff. Um, oh yeah, there are people listening to us today that are going to live well to 100, and they're going to live to 110, yeah. and probably do it quite well. Well, my personal goal is 144. That's what I've committed to. And <laughs> and I did this exercise where I was like, okay, well, that's... At that age, I, I obviously want to be in good shape and, and be able to do stuff. We're very close to that age. So I'm like, what do I have to do today? What do I have to do starting now to be that person when I'm 140, for instance? And and then it hit me. It's like that that person in the future is not going to happen one day before my 140th birthday. It starts now with these habits. As you mentioned, like, you know, Client Howard, like starting by lifting hay bales and potato sacks for decades, that's just who he was um so so what are what are some of the things that you're seeing um in terms of just like a day-to-day -day thing are you are you are you finding that like what for instance walking is enough for older people or do they need to be engaging in a little bit more rigorous type stuff to really maintain that strength and and uh, and vitality as they age yeah good question so <laughs> My business partner, Cody, and I get that a lot. So shouldn't you just tell old people to walk? Um, walking is a great form of physical activity, and, and older clients absolutely should be getting out and taking a walk. However, all the research points to the fact that it is not sufficient. It does not maintain muscle mass. It does not maintain bone density. Uh, it really does not maintain our physicality of our youth. And so walking alone is not sufficient. Should people be walking? Yes. So if you're hearing me and you're walking, great. Keep walking. Don't stop walking. But it is not sufficient to maintain the power and the strength you need. In fact, uh, more and more of the research is pointing to lower body strength being a huge factor for late life uh, functionality and independence. Absolutely. Uh, as simple as, as your ability to do 10 squats. Um, if you can't get out of a chair anymore, you are very quickly going to go downhill because it means you can't get off a toilet. You're going to start having difficulty bathing and dressing yourself. And so lower body, lower body functional strength is, is really the most important thing for people as they age, uh, maintaining that strength. So walking doesn't really do that. Um, it's a great mode of physical activity. Uh, people should be taking walks. We sit way too much. Here we are sitting, having a conversation. We sit I'm way standing. too much. Um, you're standing good, yeah, good. But it's, I get um, the point, yeah. <laughs> but I do sit but, way too much. But still, still, we're not moving, right? Yeah, we don't yeah. move enough.